Hey everybody, Jim here with another video for you. This is 50 Years in Film, ranking the films of 1990 and 1991. But before I begin, at the end of this video, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up, a possible subscribe, and leave in the comments below, how do you feel about my rankings of these films? Do you think these films should even be in the top 10 uh, for that year? <clears throat> So before we begin, I want to issue the normal caveats, but before we do that, I want to spend a shot, bleh, excuse me, I can't speak sometimes. I want to send out a special shout out to one of my subscribers across the pond in the UK by the name of Alex Wilson. I have mentioned Alex before. He's a great guy, but I especially want to mention his son, Freddie. Hi, Freddie. Freddie is a great kid. He, uh, I mentioned a couple of videos ago that uh, my grandson was coming to town and Freddie asked his father, Alex, to send my grandson a gift with some Robux on his Roblox account, which my grandson will be receiving this afternoon and I guarantee he will be ecstatic. So I wanted to send a special thank you to Alex, but especially to Freddie. You're a great kid. Your father should be very proud. Now we'll start with the caveats. These rankings are only based on my personal preference, okay? My favorite films of these years, not necessarily the best, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start, we're gonna crank right through these, we're not going into plots, we're just gonna jam right through this. So we're gonna start off with 1990. And at number 10, we have Tales from the Dark Side, the movie. Starring Kristen Slater, Steve Buscemi, Deborah Harry, James Remar. Number nine, Brain Dead. Starring Bill Pullman, Bill Paxton, and Bud Cork. This is the little sleeper movie that I talked about in a couple of videos. Please, if you get a chance to check this movie out, please do. It is so entertaining. Number eight, Sam Raimi's Dark Man. Starring Liam Neeson, Francis McDormand, and Larry Drake. Number seven, The Hunt for Red October, starring Sean Connery, Alec Baldwin, Scott Glenn, and Sam Neill, directed by John McTiernan. Number six, for my Predator trilogy, Predator 2. Directed by Stephen Hopkins, starring Gary Busey, Bill Paxton, and Crazy Gary Busey. Crazy Gary Busey will not die on this channel. Number five, this might be controversial. Kevin Costner's Dances with Wolves. Winner of Best Picture that year. And before anybody gets into a hubbub, I love this movie. Absolutely love it. And it may very well be the best movie of the year, although we'll get to that at the end. This is basic, basically personal preference, what I would rather watch. Number four. Clive Barker's Nightbreed. Starring Craig Sheffer and David Cronenberg. Number three, Misery, directed by Rob Reiner, starring James Caan, and in her Academy Award winning role as Best Actress, Kathy Bates. 
One of the best Stephen King adaptions ever. But these two, it was truly, truly difficult to rank these two. But with number two, we're going with Total Recall. Directed by Paul Verhoeven. Starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Sharon Stone, Rachel Tickerton, Ronnie Cox, and the great Michael Ironside. And number one, Martin Scorsese's Goodfellas. Starring Robert De Niro, Ray Liotta, and Joe Pesci. I love Goodfellas. I've made it Made it known on many videos. I think it's Martin Scorsese's best movie. And I think it's the best movie from 1990. As well as being my favorite movie from 1990. But to recap 1990. Number one is Goodfellas. Number two is Total Recall. Number three is Misery. Number four is Nightbreed. Number five is Dances with Wolves. Number six is Predator 2. Number seven is The Hunt for Red October. Number eight is Dark Man. Number nine is Brain Dead. And number 10 is Tales from the Dark Side, the movie. Okay, 1991, same deal. Here we go. Number 10, The Last Boy Scout, starring Bruce Willis and Damon Wayans, directed by the late, great Tony Scott. Number 9, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, starring Keanu Reeves, Alex Winter, George Carlin, and William Sadler. Number eight, Hearts of Darkness, a filmmaker's apocalypse. Directed by Eleanor Coppola. This is one of the best documentaries I've ever seen. Number seven, Rush. Starring Jason Patrick, Jennifer Jason Lee, Greg Allman, and Sam Elliott. Directed by Lily Finnish Sinuk. Number six, Stone Cold. Directed by Craig Baxley. Starring Brian Bosworth, Lance Henriksen, and William Forsythe. Absolute cheese fest. I don't care. I love this movie. <sighs> Number five. Wes Craven's The People Under the Stairs. Starring Everett McGill, Wendy Robbie. Brandon Adams, and Ving Rhames. Batshit crazy movie. I love it. Sorry about my language, Freddy. Number four. Defending Your Life. Written and directed by Albert Brooks. Starring Albert Brooks, Meryl Streep, Rip Torn, and Lee Grant. This is definitely my favorite Albert Brooks movie. Number three, Point Break. Directed by Catherine Bigelow. Starring Patrick Swayze, Keanu Reeves, and Crazy Gary Busey. Great movie. Number two, Winner of Best Picture that year, and deservedly so. 
Jonathan Dummies, The Silence of the Lambs. Starring Jodie Foster and Anthony Hopkins in their Academy Award winning roles. As well as Scott Glenn and Ted Levine. Masterpiece. But the number one movie, definitely, from 1991, to me, is James Cameron's Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, Linda, Linda Hamilton, Robert Patrick, and Eddie Furlong. This is a classic, an incredible film, and is definitely one of the best films of the 90s. So to recap 91, number one is Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Number two, Silence of the Lambs. Number three is Point Break. Number four is Defending Your Life. Number five is The People Under the Stairs. Number six is Stone Cold. Number seven is Rush. Number eight is Hearts of Darkness. Number nine is Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. And number 10 is The Last Boy Scout. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed these uh, rankings. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, if you did, please give me a thumbs up, possible subscribe, and leave in those comments what you felt about these picks. Uh, again, I want to give a quick shout out and thank you to Alex and Freddie uh, from the UK. I can't thank you enough. And until the next time, guys, we'll see you then.